before you take the medication, I'm going to ask you those two questions again. Sure. You have the right to change your mind. My mind's not changing. And what will this medication do? It will kill me and make me happy. Death with dignity, the other side calls it assisted suicide. I was diagnosed with cancer. I was supposed to have six months. Hi, Sue. Hi. Well, these people have lost so much control, and they'll tell us repeatedly they want the medication for control. It's this curious limbo. You don't know what's really going to happen, except with Death with Dignity, you do have some control over what's going to happen. An online survey of physicians showed 50% in favor, 42% against. We have a tradition in this country to allow patients to deny care, but we've never allowed physicians to actively take somebody's life. That's not the practice of medicine. First do no harm is going to be different for every patient. So how are you feeling? Harm for some patients is saying, no, 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 you've got to do this the way your body decides as opposed to the way you decide. My son has a little trouble with this. She says the cancer's come back. I have six months to live and things are gonna be fine. Uh, that sounds like the opposite of fine. If I'm in that bed and I'm racked up with a stroke, that's what I want. That's the decent thing to do. So for once in my life, I'll be decent. <laughs> <laughs> if I had an option, I would prefer not to die. Thank you very much. The Oregon law has been thoroughly tested. Now it's time to get it going in other states. I just think a society has to be asked, is this what we really want? My husband did not feel that any government or any religious leader had the right to tell him how long he had to suffer. I understand there's a kind of dignity in suffering, but there's a certain grace in accepting the inevitable. I, I can't do any more. I think all of us would like to have some options of how we'd take control of our life at the end.